All right, big game tonight. If you look at the standings, guys, we're only four points out. We're only one point behind St. Louis. We've got them tonight, so it's a huge four-point game. Dead. We've got to keep going. Dead. What? What? Those are the Western standings. What if your producers put the Panthers into the Western Conference? Those, the Western, what? We're, we're in the Eastern Conference. Yeah. And we're nine points and, out. And we're nine points out. Son of a bitch! All right, listen. I want you to get both producers, get them in the van, and I'm going to find out which one of them sons of bitches did this to me. Which one of you put the Panthers in the Western Conference? I've told you a dozen times, Eastern Conference, Fluffy. You screwed me. You make me look like an idiot. It's actually Sonia. Sonia did it? Yeah. Yeah, look at her. Totally guilty. She won't even look at the camera. Yep. Matthias ratted you out, girl. You're fired. <laughs> Well, sorry about that little technical difficulties uh, in the intro. I guess we're not four points out. We're nine points out, and I, I guess I probably should have known that. So we got the Blues tonight. Rhymers in net, so it looks like you know he's kind of taking over that that starter spot a little bit there. He's been playing really well. We've won some games, and um, hey, look, you know, a lot of a lot of talk going on right now after the whole Bukestad McCann trade and. And everybody's kind of talking about we might try to get Bobrovsky and, and get him in now. Uh, you know, make, make, make a deal with Columbus for him. And the, the whole point behind that is obviously we can sign him to an eight-year eight, eight year extension, which I, I kind of, like, gagged on that because dude's going to be 31, so you're looking at another 39-year-old goalie. You know, basically kind of running into the same thing that we're running into now with Luongo. Um... Lots of pros and cons to that. I don't want to delve into that too much. We could do worse. We could do better. But I guess a couple of things that it says, uh, obviously they don't feel like Montalban's going to be ready. And that's always a tough thing when you've got a young goalie because you don't know if you're going to bring him up and, you know, be the backup, be the starter. And, you know, this core is ready to win now, whatever, whatever they're going to win. I mean, this is the age that they're going to win. So you can't really just throw Monteblom out there and, and with heavy expectations. I get that. Um, talk is that Reimer would be part of the deal, but there's just so many moving parts to it, and we don't know what Luongo is going to do. Is he going to retire and ride off into the sunset, or is he going to be a backup for the rest of his contract, which, what's well, three, four more years, right? So I don't know, guys. I'm telling you, look, it has been since... Uh, late last season that I have been able to do one of these recaps where we got two points. I'm calling it right now. I guarantee two points tonight, and I'm just not even going to accept uh, the contemplation of anything else happening. So let's go on and see what happens. And for the love of God, will somebody get me some real producers? Okay. That's one. That's one period down because I am I've guaranteed we're getting two points tonight. So it's one nothing Panthers after one. James Reimer looking really nice. Borkstrom gets the power play goal with about a minute left in the period. And you know the thing with Reimer is you know we know he's streaky. You know but he's playing really well right now. But it's just really a shame that earlier in the season he wasn't playing this well, especially those first couple of weeks or however long it was that Luongo was out. Because, you know, we, we'd probably not be nine points out. We'd probably, obviously, be maybe more like, you know, four or five at the worst if he had played better earlier in the season. But he's playing good now. Um, so, hey, look, we're going to move on to the second period. We've got to keep this lead. I killed the rat. <laughs> I killed the fucking rat. Can I just tell you how much that rat just freaked me out? I killed the fucking rat. The rat flew while we were filming. We're done. I mean, that's, that's, the fucking rat flew. I'm going to be able to zoom in on that and like.
Are you fucking kidding me? 2 nothing lead, and, and we just blow this shit up again. Three more goals in the third period, and, and I just can't. I just absolutely cannot. I know that everybody's going to blame me because I guarantee two points, and every damn time we, we, I watch the game, we lose, and I just, I just don't care. I just cannot physically fucking believe this team blew another lead, and so I'm, I'm just going to go, I'm going to go upstairs, and I'm going to finish this, and then I'm probably going to get laid really well, and then I'm going to sleep. So, goodbye.